What up, YouTube? It's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another fucking video. Now, I just got done watching Cowboys Legend for Life, is his name. Go sub him up. He's a good video maker. Um, I was watching his video, uh, basically talking about what I said last night and how he agrees with me. It's a good video. And he brings up some good points about Deshaun Jackson only having a 60% catch radius and Golden Tate, you know, has a better catch radius than... than Deshaun Jackson and you know he's right it doesn't make sense if the Giants pick him up unless they're getting rid of Eli but at the same time um let the Giants do what they want to do you know what I mean like they're filling a void for Odell Beckham and it's, he's not going to fill Odell Beckham's shoes it's just a receiver to have and if you think about it Golden Tate gives Cow the Cowboys trouble <clears throat> and then you have Sterling Shepard who's a good number two and then Evan Ingram so I mean it's not Odell Beckham like without having Odell Beckham there, but it's still decent. I mean, and like um, Cowboys legend for life said, he didn't help him win. And a lot of Giants fans, real Giants fans, agree um, they didn't help him win. They had a losing record with 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 Odell Beckham. But anyway, that's not. This is not what this video is about. This video is about two things. <laughs> two things. Um, I had to get my my um, meal replacement in. I didn't have breakfast this morning, even though it is the most important meal of the day. I didn't, but um, got done with the gym. But anyway, Kareem Hunt. This isn't breaking news. We all knew. We all knew this was coming. We all knew this was coming. Kareem Hunt suspended for eight games. Now, I think, honestly, think in my opinion that the Browns were the only team that could afford to lose a running back for eight games. They got Chubb. They got Chubb. Right now they got Duke Johnson Jr., who is on the trading block. Um, but they got Chubb. They got Chubb, and they can go out and get um, a third down back until Kareem Hunt suspension is over. So I really, think, like I said, I really think they were the only team that could have um, afforded to have a running back of Kareem Hunt's caliber suspended for eight games. And not really, I mean, and, you know, Chubb came out a little bit last year, you know, like he had some good, he, psh, he's a good running back. So, you know, I, I think they'll be okay. My second point. Look, I know I sometimes butcher names, but this guy butchers names all the time. And look, bro. Like, I, I'm not one to call out Cowboy fans. I'm not one to do that shit. But, Simus, you're right. You're right. Like, I got to question this guy's fandom. I got to question who, this guy because I listen to him. I watch his videos and I listen to him to see what he has to say because some of it is just out there. But you, you know who, exactly who I'm talking about. The guy who lives up north of Maryland. I'm not going to say his name, but he lives up there. Look, if you're going to pronounce someone's name, get it right. Especially if he plays for the fucking Cowboys and has been on the Cowboys for the past couple years. Jeff Swain signed with the Jags today. Jeff Swain. This guy called it Golf Swam. I had to be like, I'm glad I knew how to spell Jeff Swain's name. I even had to go look it up to make sure I was correct. Because I was like, this guy had me thinking that it was Golf Swam for a second. And I was fucking, and I was the one fucking up his name. So I had to look it up and no, it's Jeff Swam. Not, am I, Jeff Swam, yeah, not Golf Swain. And it's just like, oh my god. But anyway, I don't want to call out this cowboy fan, cowboy fan, um, too much. It's just, it just cracks me up that I watch this guy. And he was all in on the Earl Thomas thing. You know, he had me believing for a second that we were going to get Earl Thomas. I mean, like Simon says, there's the 20 percenters and the 80 percenters. And the 80 percent of me was like, I want I want him and I want to believe we're going to get him. But the 20 percent of me was like, I know we're not going to get this dude. I know it's not. He's going to want too much money. He's too old to begin with. I'm not going to I don't want to pay 17 mil for a dude with a leg that's been broken twice. But he talks, that other guy talks a good game, and he had me thinking that we were going to, we were in the works for old Thomas, but the 20% of me knew that it wasn't going to happen. 
But again, guys, this isn't really news. Jeff Swaim, not Golf Swam. Jeff Swaim is um, signed with the Jags, so he won't be here next year. This, you know, this upcoming year. Still doesn't matter. We got Jason Witten back. Tight end is not an important need right now until next season. We're still going to focus on the safety and the defensive side of the ball. But I got to go get NBA 2K19 or NBA 19K. I don't know. What the, I forget what the game. It's a basketball game. I don't know. I've started playing basketball games more even though I'm in. I, I do the Madden all the time just because it's tradition. I've had Madden since 92. I'm not going to stop. And MLB The Show comes out, you know, in a couple weeks. And I'm about to, I'm going to get on that shit. So, again, it's Jeff Swain, not Golf Swam. And Cream Hunt is gone for eight games. I'm out. Peace.